Welcome back to the channel. This is Gillis TV here today and we got some signing again today as it seems to be the way the NHL is going. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button and turn those notifications on helps the channel a lot as we cover all NHL and expand throughout the course of this channel's career. Now, like I said, we got another signing news as JT Miller is sticking around in Vancouver for seven more years. This is a huge move by the GM of the Vancouver Canucks, who there was a lot of speculation, try and trade him, try and make room for him. Signing JT Miller, seven years, $8 million a year, more than what Kadri got. I don't know how you Vancouver fans feel feel or NHL fans in general feel about this signing I say that's a bit much I was thinking in like seven years you know 45 to 50 million 56 is kind of up there for me personally even though he had, did have a good year I was just looking at other contracts similar and you think about the Edmonton Oilers Leon Dreisel is eight, at 8.5 million and putting up 100 plus points a year Exactly, that's what I'm trying to say. But let's keep going as it was announced Friday that Miller and the Vancouver Canucks have agreed to terms on a seven years, $56 million contract extension. Canucks general manager Patrick Alvin announced today the club has agreed to terms of center. Yeah, a bunch of this going. The 29-year-old had a career season in 21-22, recording 32 goals, 99 points in 80 games last season this is his third season with the Canucks JT Miller is an impact player in the league and are thrilled to have him resigned with the Canucks long term said the general manager of Vancouver drafted 15th overall by the New York Rangers at the 2011 NHL draft Miller was traded to Tampa Bay in 2018 at the deadline as part of the deal that sent Ryan McDonough to the Lightning after two seasons with the Lightning, Miller was traded to the Canucks at the 2019 draft for Merrick Mazanik, a third-round pick used to on goaltender Hugo Alfelt, and a first-round pick in the 2020 NHL entry draft that was later traded to New Jersey as part of the Blake Coleman deal. So, Miller staying in Vancouver long-term, $8 million a year. That begs the question is, who's on their way out the door? A lot of you guys said in a couple comments that Connor Garland is possibly out the door. Which, yeah, five, just shy of $5 million, We'll just say $5 million for him for 26. A lot of teams would take that contract on. I made the mistake in the other video. Don't mind that. But you guys might go, well, they don't need to trade him this year. No, they don't need to trade Garland. Connor Garland this year it's next year you're worried about as Bo Horvat is going to be a UFA you'll have Andre Kuzmenko as a UFA depending on how he does he might come back and then you'll have Justin Downing Dowling and then on defense you would also have RFA and Travis Dermont which is probably going to want more of a pay raise than 1.5 million You'll have Luke Shen and Kyle Burrows, which Luke Shen's getting to the end of his career. He might not be here much longer, in a sense. But even if you keep Garland after, for two more years, the one, there's a couple names that come up in 2024, 2025, which is one superstar, Elias Pettersson's RFA. He's going to want money. Then you got UFAs in Tanner Pearson and Jason Dick Dickinson, depending on what they want. Then you would have an RFA in Vasily Podolskin. Podolskin? However you say, I'm not good with Russian names. So you got to think about that. Then you got Spencer Knight, that's a UFA that year too. Or Spencer Martin, sorry, not Spencer Knight. Uh, some Spencer Knight thing popped up. Spencer Knight, or er, Spencer Martin as well and then you would also have Tyler Myers which probably in three years you probably don't want Tyler Myers anymore unless he's on a cheap contract so there go there's a bunch of moves excuse me there's a bunch of moves that 
have to happen. Like I said, not this year, but either the trade deadline this year or next season, they're going to have to move a contract out to fulfill the need of of JT Miller's new contract, which goes up by just shy of $3 million, 2.75 to be exact. So that begs the question, do they move Car- Connor Garland? Well, he had a pretty good season last year, 52 points in 77 games, was a plus 18, brought his plus minus up. The year before that, he had 39 points in 49 games. Sorry, I sneezed now, my nose is runny. Then the 1920 season, they had 39 points in 68 games. So you're looking at a guy that could do it pretty much all. He's pretty good on the power play. But what if his numbers decline in this season? It's the gamble everyone in the NHL takes with a player, knowing that they're going into this year, possibly being their last year on that team, where the GM has to make a gamble. Right now, his mark is high. But if he goes down to, say, 20 points in 60 games or 20 points by the deadline, then all of a sudden, his value drops. And that's the thing the Vancouver Canucks are going to have to look at. And there is a way to keep him try trading someone else's contract, say, Pearson's possibly. But as of right now, that's the only really logical answer for the Vancouver Canucks to make room for JT Miller's new contract that he just signed so let me know in the comments what you guys think of this contract I think it's a bit on the up end as before we go let's go check his stats as yeah he did have 99 points last season in 80 games was a plus 15 Uh, he only he had 46 the previous season so he's picked up his points play in Vancouver there's no doubt about that 72 and 69 but 8 million, I would have said somewhere in the Cadre area of 7 million would have been what I would have predicted. But overall, this is a good signing. Maybe the turn or the amount isn't what Vancouver wanted, but it's a good signing to keep JT Miller. And that, at the end of the day, was all they wanted was to keep JT Miller and deal with the rest when time comes. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this signing. I'll catch you on the next one.